This is the Brad Refresh Show. Every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Rinsing out the waxers inside the Vibe Hard Dance Crew. Salute! Hello and welcome to the Brad Refresh Show. This is the first one. We can call it a pilot because I'm not sure how it's going to go just yet. But, um, got some new music. We've got special guests tonight, the Birth Mental Residents. Chris will be here as well, but he's Todd. Um, I'm unsure of how this is going to go, but we're going to freestyle it for now. I've got a sort of plan, and let's see if it sticks to it. Uh, I'm going to kick off with a brand new one from DBC. This is Forever, and it's available now on Euphoric Records. Is it all well? Want to give a big shout out to Maka, Tom Premier. Shout Neve Flynn as well, big supporter. Tight Ola Glamzo crew, Dave Jackson, Tidy Boys, oi oi. Hold tight Gav Walker, number one supporter for the Bass Mental. Hope this sounds alright. Consequences. We're going to be playing lots and lots of new fresh music as well, some that's literally just been finished today. I'll be leaving track lists on the SoundCloud description when I upload it and that will be uploaded at 10am Friday morning, every Friday morning. Hold tight Sean Swift. Hold tight, Phil Binsma. Hold tight, Glover. We're gonna have a little guest mix soon from Chris and Todd, as well as a little interview, Embarrass Maybe. We'll have a bit of a classic of the week as well. Absolute throwback, this one.
gone. Hey, girlfriend. I saw you looking at the way I dance. This ain't the place to be doing that shuffle shit. We're real ravers. We go to raves for the music. We're one big family. We don't come to just stand around and look cool. 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 We come to bounce. This one is Scott Rez. We come to bounce. This is a Scott Rez and Andy Mack remix out now on Twok Records. Listen to this drop. This is the place for that shuffle shit. Oh, oh my god. to bounce. for that shuffle shit. This one has been killing all the dance floors, this one. This is Darren Styles, Who's Against the World, the RC bootleg. Chris has just entered the cripple. Better late than never. All tight, Claire Story, and all the CGF crew. I'll see you in December. Like Callum O'Neill and all the Frizzit and crew. Oi, oi! In about 20 minutes, we're going to be doing an uh, interview with both these lads. They're not even ready for some of the questions I'm going to ask. 
This is a beauty from the killer of the bouncing at the minute, Groove Control, about us. What about us? Out now on Cheeky Tracks. Pull tight Dave Gray. Pull tight Alan Kirkby, just tuned in. Oi, oi! Old tight Vix Cooper on the call out. We are search lights we can see in the dark. We are rockets pointed up at the start. We are billions of beautiful hearts. And you sold us down the river too far. Hold tight, Daniel Carrick and all the Aki crew. Oi, oi! Hold tight, Toby and Vader who will not shut the fuck up. Old tight, Dean Drake Liddell, the Carlisle crew, oi oi, congratulations on the baby bee. Oh, 
Hold tight to the Richard Lamb as well. The CGF crew, hope you're all right. Oi, oi! What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answer? What about us? What about all the broken happy ever after? This is a brand new little number from the Tweakers. Back and forth, out now on Dirty Works. Back and forth. Move my body back and forth. Push it, push it back and forth. Move my body back and forth. To the beat. Back and forth and back and forth and back. And forth and back, push it, push it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back. And forth and back. Keep it going. All tight, John Wright, the absolute feaster. Nice eyebrows and nice teeth. Feel the rhythm. <laughs> Hold tight, my fellow fatty, Jordan Lee Gent. Yes, it is hard style, but it's fucking sick, mate. It doesn't matter what you think. Feel the rhythm. Shout Gav out there. Feel the rhythm. Let it hit 
Paul Ty, Carl Hodson and Aaron Springer out there. Oh yay! Yeah. Let it hit him. Paul Tide, Paulie D and Cheryl Wild. Yes, hope you're in for a wildie tonight. Apparently, I sound like I'm on a waltzer. Uh, I'm not a gypsy, I'm just fat. This one is Starman and it's entitled Heaven. This is out now on Cheeky Tracks on the Italo Bounce Volume 9 EP. You go and get a copy. Side Tony Cole's tuned in as well. This is Bouncing Booties, volume 25, out now by Kenny Hears. You can get that on rebound.co.uk for free. Next up, we've got some very exclusive music from myself. It was finished at half past five this evening. Um, hope he's likey. going to be doing a little interview segment with one of the guests and then we'll move on to the next one in another 15 minutes. 
after this next beauty. Remember, this is just experimental so far, so let us know what you think. Any feedback is great. All type Michelle Trodden. You can feel free to share this with all your mates as well and uh, make it heard, make it viral if you wanna. Don't care if it's one, one share, 10 shares. Don't care if we've got one viewer. We're just talking shit. Shouts to Paulie D again, thanks for the share mate. That's not a good idea. Tight Elaine and all the Mauritius crew. See you Saturday. All tight Russ Pato. We're going to have a little bit of a talk with... Who wants to go first? Chris or Todd? Chris can go first. Just after this next tune. That's not a good idea. Hold tight, Alfie. That's not a good idea. 
Right, this next bit is very, very experimental. I, I'm not sure how it's going to go down. Um, Chris is the most boring man in the world, so so he might not have much of a story to tell. Even though he, he, he does have a, a bit of a story to tell, he's been DJing for how many years now? Well, since I was 13, I'm 35 now, so it's like nearly 20 years. So DJing for 20 years, and he probably could not tell us any stories because he's, he's probably forgot them all. But, right, uh, we'll just ask a few basic questions. Uh, when, when did you get into DJing? Like, why? Um, I don't know, I just enjoyed the music more than anything. It was more bedroom based. I bought myself a set of belt drive decks and I was given some records and I just sat in the room and eventually got, got into it and then started enjoying it. What was your first ever record that you bought yourself? Ace of Bass, all that you want. Ace of Bass, all that you want. Good tune, actually. Mine was The Rude Sandstorm and Club Heads, Here We Go, and it was on the yellow disc. Uh, who was your inspiration as a DJ? I could probably guess this one. Is it Vibesy? <laughs> yeah. Because all through school, I used to always sit and listen to the hardcore Evan CDs. Mainly hardcore Evan Volume. I think it was volume two. And it was in a it was in a pink a pink sleeve. And um I ended up doing something I shouldn't have done that. I put it on all the computers at school and everyone started listening to it and selling to rave. <laughs> oh well, spread the love, spread the word. Um Right, I've got a good question for you. I haven't written this one down. Right, and, and it's gonna be quite an offensive one for you. Do you like Novas? No. Why is that? Explain. The shit. Why is a Metro better than a Nova? Faster. Better. <laughs> right. This is another odd question for you. What is your favourite main dish from a restaurant? Steak and ale pie. Dessert? Um, Parkside. Um, Ferrero Rocher cheesecake. Oh, that is tasty. Right, since you started out DJing, what is a memory that sticks out in your in your mind? Because you're not going to tell me your own story, but I sort of know your background. It's uh, you were resident DJ in the park, Gallagher's, uh, mobile DJ, here, there, and everywhere, just to get involved with everything. So you tell me, what is a memory that sticks out in your head in the time you've been DJing? Uh, I think the most that sticks out was. Uh, on the closing night on the park, we um, a lad called Simon was supposed to be DJing, and he ended up doing a, a gig in Carlisle, I think it was. So he asked me to do it. But there was some of these he asked me to do it at the end of the night, and it was basically when the, once I knocked the music off and the last track was played, and I had to knock all the, the stuff off. I had to nick the the slip mats and the stylus off the turntables. It's a good little uh, nostalgic memory, that. Uh, I, I think. I'd have done the same thing. I'd probably took the decks as well, to be fair. I'm not a half inch here, but you know what I mean. Right. Last question, and then we're going to go into the Classic of the Week feature. What is the weirdest thing that's happened to you at a rave? Weirdest? I think, um, I think it was in a club in Carlo. It was called uh, Terminal 1 at the time. Um, there, was, there was two things in Terminal 1 that happened. One was next to Terminal 1, they've got... This is, Bar Rouge, I think they call it, which is a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a, a naughty club, and strip club full of full of girls and sometimes maybe even boys. As, <laughs> as the DJs went in to get ready, obviously you were in before everyone else was setting up, and then I went to go on toilet, walked into the toilets, confronted by a load of strippers, starkers, and I was like basically shriveled up and went all childish and just ran off. And then, but further on in the night, there was two, um, I'd, I'd class them as hippies, they were, they were dressed up as, as grannies or on, on like stilts, but the Zimmer frames were extending and everything, and the way they were dancing the music was just something to always remember, it, it was just weird. Right, that, that was a great, that's a great one actually. Um, 
Where can people find your music? Like, uh, you, you're not a very active person when it comes to social media, or you, you're not. Or you do have SoundCloud, but you don't use it. I think there's only like maybe one mix that I've uploaded on there, and I think you maybe done one or two promos, but you, you don't uh, think. Where can people find you if you wanted to be booked, or if you if you want to listen to what you play? Um, well, it's just Facebook really. I do a couple of lives on there. I have got I think it's Media Fire and SoundCloud, but. I'm a skin I won't pay a SoundCloud to actually extend me the, the, the thing on it so I can only upload so many every hour now and then. I've got to delete some to upload them and I can't bother doing it. Right, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to before we go off? No. <laughs> Not as boring as he gets. Right, we're going to do the classic of the week and then we're going to get Todd in for a little guest mix and an interview. So this week's track of the week or throwback of the week sorry is King of Clubs and Rebecca Rudd Broken Wings If uh, I got this on vinyl probably the cheapest vinyl I ever bought and it was 25 pence um, it's a little beauty uh, I love this tune I think it's from about 2006 so enjoy Hold tight, Collie Woods. Hold tight, Georgia Clarkson. Hold tight, Coral Bourne. Hold tight, Megan McCormack. Listen to this piano, I love this tune. I'm getting a shout out for Todd from Paulie D, so I Todd Murphy sitting in the studio.
Tight note, we're going to be playing some Italian soon, mate. All tight, Oggy. Okay. Bit of a change of plan, I'm going to be interviewing Todd right now, and then we're going to jump into the guest mix. Refresh show every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Rinsing out the waxers inside the Vibe Hard Dance Crew. Salute! Right. There's a bit of a disorganisation, but having two guests on is a bit harder. Um, a bit harder than expected. This is my fat mate, Todd. Todd Murphy. Um, recently new to the scene. Uh, I say new, he's been around, what, what three years? Three, about three years. So... When did you get into DJing? Got into DJing, got into DJing about when I was about 15, 16. Um, but really got into the music when I was about 12, 13. Um, me and Jamie Sharp got into it all. Jamie lent me a new Monkey CD for the first time. and So you're a Mac and a fan? Originally, but don't listen to much of it now. But if I find a good new Monkey CD, I'll put it on with. Who's your inspiration? Inspiration? What, as in DJ or... What? Who is, who, when you were growing up and you were, you were listening to the CDs, we were in the youth club, we were and they're blasting it out. No, 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 no. For anyone who doesn't know, me and Todd grouped together-ish. He, he's older than me because he's an old bastard. Not as old as Chris Mine, but he's old. Um, and we went to the same... Um, we were from the same village uh, and... We went to the same youth club. Um, I used to always try and follow their little gang because I, I wanted to get into drink cider on the on the park and that, but did, I just didn't get in there. Um, so, who was your inspiration? Well, when I was younger, it was all like the MC Finchy sort of crack, and then you had like DJ Rank and DJ Cami, all that sort of stuff. So all that cheesy sort of stuff got us into it all. So. Do you like DJ Cami Country Roads? At the time, yes, I did. <laughs> This is why you, I'm going to remove you from Best Metal Residency because no, because it's disgraceful. You can't even pick a good, a good fucking CD, a good, a good inspiration. What, what one CD that sticks out for you then? One that I've got now, which I, is my favourite CD, is Meltdown Reunion, which I've had since I was about 14. And I've still got the original CD for it. Um, Gary selects everyone on that CD. Um, I know every lyric on the CD, every track. I know it's a bit anal, like. That that's sad that you know all the CD, all the MCs, rhymes and stuff, man. It is sadder, right? When we go out for a meal to a restaurant, what is your favourite main? Eight down sirloin steak with chips, cheesy garlic bread, and two garlic dips. That's a bit uh, precise. Um, unless you already don't know, Todd's a bit OCD. Um, it's weirdly OCD, actually. But um, it, he's, he's a very odd man. Right, what's your, what's your dessert of choice? Dime bar cake. From? Um, Brewers Fair, I've had it before. And Toby Calvary. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Right, since you started out DJing, I know it hasn't been a long time, but you've got your residency at TJ's, uh, so you've, you've done quite a lot of it in the, in the short amount of time. Uh, what's, what is your favourite memory since you started out? Favourite memory is when we done Bass Mental. Um, I've obviously I enjoyed doing when we done Finchy. We got Finchy for the first time, um, and the fact is that you started like I'm saying over my set. That's what like was. That's why I was on about inspirational before. Because the yeah, MC said over like 15, 20 minutes of the last bit of my set. Um, the, uh, right, we're, we're in my spare room, aka my studio, right? I don't want you to get an erection oh. o- over MC Finchie. <laughs> Stu, I'm really sorry, but he's a, he's a fanboy, right? 
No, easy, easy. You're a massive fanboy. I'm not. I'm really not embarrassing you. Right. But the crack is, right, this is this is how it should... And it... A lot of people did message me and say... Like, I had a two or three message me and say, I speak too fast. Uh, so I, I need to slow down in what I say. Because obviously there's people more than Cumbrians listening, so... So, right. Um... What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you? Right, and bear in mind, the Salabar in Whitehaven, TJs, or whatever you want to call it, you get you get some characters in there, so I can imagine there's there's, there's something. Well, normal nights, I've had the odd people, like lassies, take the shirt off. There'll be knickers for getting flashed and all that sort. You love that, don't you? Callie's watching this, I can't say enough, innit? <laughs> Hold tight, Callie. Yeah, I'm Reva. And, um... No, but obviously the weirdest thing I've had before is um, if he's watching his jagger um, when basically you're trying to mix and he's here grabbing like your penis, um, your ass, your balls and you just think like, get off me before punching the face. Jagger is from the old school and he's all peace, love and unity. Um, but once he's, he's um, had a drink... He's the most loving person you could ever meet. That loving that I think that he wants your penis. So if you're listening, Jagger, hold tight, Jagger, inside. Right. And I've got a question for you. that I asked Chris a slightly different question. Right. Why Ford? Because they are the better branded car. Yes, people say the rust buckets and that. But all about having the fast Fords in my eyes. Right, for those who don't know, you, there is a bit of interest on the social media when you post pictures. Uh, what is it you've got? I've got Series 1 RS Turbo Escort, which I'm currently restoring. I've got a Mark 1 Focus RS, and I've got a 2015 Focus ST. Oh, that's quite the collection. Uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Well, where can we discover your music? Uh, I know you're more proactive than Chris's, so... Where can, what, what can we find you on? We know you're on Facebook. You've got SoundCloud, right? Mainly SoundCloud, but I do share my SoundClouds on my Facebook. Um, I do the odd live now and again, but I'll admit I don't do enough of it. Um, I don't do enough of it, but uh, I am going to start getting into it more. Into more um, live feeds, into more uploading sets and stuff to get myself out there more, I think. Well, are you being lazy at the minute? Is that what it is? Well, I'm being lazy at the moment. I've just recently had a... Um, a baby who's uh, eight weeks old now. Well, nine weeks today, sh- sorry, should I say. Hold tight, Reva. Hold tight, Reva. But yeah, obviously, yeah, I have been lazy and that's so on it to get back on it and get them done and get myself out there more and hopefully get some more gigs on my belt. Right, that's great, that's great. I, I, I appreciate you both coming. So right now, we're going to go into the guest mix with Chris. Um, these, these tunes that he's going to be playing are something that means something to him in some sort of way whether he holds memories or or he just he, he, when he, the first time he played it or the first time he heard it he texts him back to a time so the first tune he's going to be playing is uh, Wand Happiness Oh Wand Happiness he currently he gets hammered it does get hammered like to be honest with you right Right, I, I'm I'm sorry for the delay, but we are trying to be as organised as we can. Uh, hold tight, Daniel Frew. Hold tight, Mitchell Bruff. Come on, where are we at? We need tunes. Ooh. Where are we at? We're going to lose some viewers. <laughs> right, this is Wand Happiness. Massive tune, massive, massive tune. This is DJ Chris Rigg in the mix. Hold tight, Jade Wren. Hold tight, Scott Newton as well, tuned in. Oi, oi.
Hold tight, Chris, on the Wicked Mix. Wicked, Wicked Mix. All tight to Dave Jackson. All tight to Leanne Coleman as well, the lead's crew. Oi, oi. All tight, all the Eggerman crew on this one. All tight, the Clayton Moore crew. Oi, oi. All tight, Hoggy Hoggoth, shout the SE27 crew. All tight, Jade Wren tuned in as well. Remember, this will be going on SoundCloud tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the morning so if you're getting ready to go out on this weekend 
session of bounce events, hard dance events, you'll be able to get one right up. I don't know what you do to me, it's like a miracle. You do me right, sometimes you do me wrong. Girl, you know you are the one who makes me feel so strong. I love you so, I want you to know you're in my heart. Right, Chris's final record of the night is a hardcore tune. He's trying as hard as he can to mix it in, but you know, he just, no, no, right. This one is Tiny Top Disco Land, the Rave Land remix. Brilliant tune. Take me up, up, up and away, where the music is. Now he's just being a smart ass. Take me up, up, up and away, when fantasy turns to reality. Right, next up we're going to have Todd playing his guest mix. Um, I think it's going to be, is it bounce music? Is it mostly bounce? I'm going to bounce and Italian. Let me Full tight Lee Kelly. I do sound like a dance presenter, I think. Nice to see you at the weekend, though, mate. One hundred. Next up, we've got DJ Todd Murphy, Best Mental Resident. Uh, he's going to be playing free tunes that mean something to him. In what sort of way, mate? Basically, what I've grew up with. Ooh. Callie, I will. I'm going to MC this song, aren't I? I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Right, I'm sorry for the time delay. On the recordings, I will be splitting these um, up so it seems less of a recording. So let's see Todd in action. Let's go! This is an oval tune for those who know. Like Melanie Glaser just tuned in. You put the brand new music on it. 
white man can't go for ranking, you know. And when me come a dance, we come cover dance and wrap up, you know. Boy, with you, the set of love is over. Hold tight, Keo. Hold tight, the Alan Kirkby as well. Have you ever watched Stars in Their Eyes? We're going to play a little game right now. For your chance to win a CD, right, what we're going to do is, it's like Stars in Their Eyes, we're going to guess who, who Todd, Todd's doppelganger is, right, and for those who know, drop it in the comments below, and if you get it right, I'll send you a free CD. Just look at him, and who does he look like? I'll give you a clue, he's on the undateables. Hold tight, Google. Hope you're well, mate. The question is, who is Todd's doppelganger? This one is Talisa, Let Me Be. Italian classic. Right, we're going for Todd's last tune next. Remember, you can grab this off SoundCloud tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Right, listen carefully, in case you missed it, for a free CD, you tell me who is Todd's double off the undateables. He looks exactly like him, just you, you can't miss it, just who is it, and I'll send you out a free CD. Just put it in the comment sections below, and I'll sort you out a free CD.
Ball type Michelle Finlay. You could have a free CD, I'll check it out after the recording. And if you have, I'll send you a CD out. Listen now, cause I'm missing you. I just can't stand the pain. Whoa, listen now, I'm really missing you. You left me still in the rain. Well done, Michelle Finley. You've won yourself a free CD. Drop me a message with your address and you can have it. For those who didn't know, it's sheer not the undateables. This is the last track from Todd tonight, and well, from us all, and we'll be finishing after this. A massive, massive thank you to those who's watched it, shared it, and enjoyed it. So I'll be back next week with a special guest, which I'll be announcing on Sunday. Um, we'll be on SoundCloud tomorrow, remember? Full tight Shelby and Summer as well, the twinnies. Right, thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to go and have a can of Magnus and maybe even have a kebab right now. So thank you and good night.